this video, I'm going to be showing you how to upload a digital product on Squarespace. All right, so I'm in my account right now on Squarespace, and this is my website. And so what you got to do right now is go to your account dashboard, and then I'm going to go to Pages. And I'm going to go to this part where it says Shop. And in here, this is the part where you're going to add your product. So I'm going to go to this plus sign right here. And it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to go to Digital Download because it's a digital file. And then here, we're just going to type in our product name. So I'm going to type in Book Review. After that, we're going to type in our description. Once you're done, uh, you're going to go to Images. And then you're going to put in your image right here for your thumbnail. So you're going to press Upload File. So I uploaded my image right here. We're going to go to Inventory. This is the actual file. So I'm going to upload it. And now it's being uploaded and it's in progress. Once you're done, you want to set your price. I'm just going to do $5 for mine. And you can also do sale, but I'm just going to turn this off for now. And you want to go to category to see where you want to add your category for this product. That's how you make a new category, so you're just going to type it in. I put printables. I'm going to add it. And I'm going to check it right here. You can also do multiple printables. So I did printables, but I also could do planners as well. All right, and then for this one, the featured product, you can feature it on your uh, summary blocks on your page. I'm gonna turn mine off because it's not needed. And then you can do other things here like related products and product reviews. But I don't usually do anything with this part. This is the SEO part. You can edit it if you wish. So this is what you can do. You can enter your title, your SEO description. Usually I just leave it because this looks fine to me. But if you want to just up your game on your SEO search, that's okay too. This is the checkout right here. Usually I just leave this blank. I don't usually do anything, but this is what it looks like. Custom button. And collect forms. Usually I don't do anything, so I just leave it as it is. Once you're done, you want to go to publish. And you're going to see that it appeared on the website. 